good Sunday morning. We begin with our brand new NBC News poll and the headline. With just over three weeks until Election Day, former President Trump and Vice President Harris are now tied among registered voters, 48 to 48 percent. The five-point lead Harris held after the presidential debate a month ago is now gone. Steve Kornacki will take us inside the numbers, including the enormous gender gap just moments from now. Donald Trump's approval rating now 48 percent is higher than his job rating was at any point during his presidency. By 43 to 41 percent, more voters are concerned that Harris will continue President Biden's approach than are concerned that former President Trump will continue his first term approach. 48 percent for Trump and 48 percent for Harris. It's a deadlock with just three weeks until Election Day. Get this. Trump's approval rating is at an all time high. What happened to Kamala's lead? Gone. Poof. This video is about the race that's giving everyone deja vu. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here we are, folks. It's three weeks from election day and we're tied 48 to 48. Yeah, the same Kamala Harris who was riding high with a five point lead after the debate. Well, that lead, it's now as non existent as Biden's energy levels at a press conference. Game plan. He may have a game plan. He just hasn't shared it with me. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Oh, and Trump, the guy who everyone thought was done after January 6th, well, his approval rating is sitting pretty at 48%, higher than when he was actually president. You didn't see that one coming, did you? But here's where things get interesting. People are more worried about Harris continuing Biden's policies than Trump taking us on a nostalgia tour of his first term. Let that sink in for a sec. That's a 43 to 41% margin. And Kamala's carrying Biden's baggage like an overpacked suitcase at the airport. The real question is, can she make a case that she's not just Biden 2.0? I don't think so, because it's going to be an uphill battle for her. Now, let's talk swing states. Everyone's favorite game of electoral roulette. NBC's polling shows Trump is leading in six of the seven swing states, including Arizona, Nevada, and Michigan. NBC said that. Yeah, the same Michigan also that helped push Biden over the finish line in 2020. But don't relax just yet. The lone exception, Wisconsin. And if you know anything about Wisconsin, you know it tends to poll left, but vote right. So buckle up. This could get wild. Remember the 2020 election? NBC's polls had Biden up by 14 points in October. The final margin was a cozy 4.5%. Now, Trump almost took the Electoral College with just a 40,000 vote shift. If today's polling feels like deja vu, well, you're not wrong. Now, get ready, because the next few weeks are going to be spicy. So what's going on? Simple. Trump's pulling off a major glow up in the polls, reminding voters of the good old days, while Harris tries to convince America she's different from Biden. How's that working out? Not great. Even NBC is asking, what's going on with your campaign, Kamala? I mean, that's got to sting. And here's the thing. Trump's not just the former president. He's the guy with a proven track record running against the sitting administration. He's got the nostalgia factor going from him. And people are apparently looking back at his policies with more fondness than anybody thought. If Trump wins, the slogan should actually be make America great again again. Yeah, that's a thing now. As we head into the final stretch, both campaigns are in full sprint mode. It's anybody's game at this point. And if the last few elections have taught us anything, it's to expect the unexpected. The polls are tighter than a new pair of jeans after Thanksgiving dinner, and the political divide in this country has never been greater. Who's going to come out on top? Your guess is as good as mine. But I'll tell you this. Grab the popcorn, man, because it's going to be a hell of a show. All right. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to be kept up to date with the latest in the 2024 election. I'll see you in the next one. Spread the word.